Look around everybody on mute. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah. What it do, what it do, back again coming through, who that is, that ain't nobody but Sumi Sue, about to do this makeup boo. Okay, so we are back with another makeup tutorial. I told you I would do a makeup tutorial if I got some new makeup and I got some new makeup. This is PR and this is by Juvia's Place. I'm sure you guys have already seen this floating around the internet, but they just came, can you, <laughs> they, everything just have block up, block up the video. They just came out with the Afro Galactic collection. How cute and how pretty is she? Absolutely love the collection. If you follow me on IG and TikTok, you already know that I did a makeup video, well, a little tutorial on both of those platforms. But today we're gonna be doing a full video on this. I'm gonna be doing an autumn look. So. In this collection, you get an eyeshadow palette and four glitter liquid eyeshadows. Absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful. And yeah, we're gonna get into it. I love the box. I love the way it reflects the colors of the night sky. I already told you in one of my vlogs that your girl loves the extraterrestrial, okay? I love space, I love anything to do with space. It's just, it's just really beautiful, like it's fascinating, you know, God is amaz amazing. So, this is the palette. How pretty is she, okay? She's very colorful, but guess what? There are about, I would say, eight colors in here that you can do an autumn look with. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. You know, so I already did color like on my IG and TikTok. So today we're gonna be doing the autumn side of this palette. Very versatile. So even though it looks like this, like you can get a lot of a, a lot of things going on. Love the greens, love the gray. Like I want to do a look with the gray, I want to do a look with the greens. But today we're gonna focus more so on the orangey side right here because <laughs> it is autumn. The look is gonna be super, super. Oh, I didn't even show you. The, the liners, okay, so you get these four uh, dual chrome eyeliners and uh, you have like a blue purple and the name of that is Metaverse and then you have like a purpley green type of thingamajiggy and thingamajiggy <laughs> eyeliner and this one is called Unique. Look around everybody on mute. I rate my soul. And then you have a gold one. I don't see the gold one really reflecting too much. It's just basically like a gold. And this is called Venus. And then you have the gold and the pink. Y'all know the vibe. And this one is called Star Girl. Mana Star Girl. Okay. Yeah. Mana Star Girl. Girl. It's been a minute. I have to re-familiarize re myself with my setting because it's been a minute since I've really sat here and done like a YouTube sit down. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I'm gonna just say this real quick. Like the TikTok video blew up in a space of a couple of days. Like I've that's the most views I've ever gotten in my life, and I'm just excited. Like I want to do more TikToks now because I get what's going on. Like things can really start popping off, okay? I went from like 7,000 followers on TikTok to 22, 22,000 from that video alone. Like, help, what? That's insane, that is crazy, okay? Like that is unheard of for me. Okay, let me go to my TikTok real quick. 22,100 followers in the space of a couple of days. Like I gained 16,000 followers in the space of a couple of days. YouTube, IG, I wanna go on with. TikTok really out here giving y'all pressure. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Put me in the algorithm. What? Insane. Anyway, so let's zoom in. Cause we fitting to get within. I love the wig. Okay, here video coming soon. This is so pretty. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I am applying my concealer as usual. And we're just gonna create a nice even base. So many of you have told me that you miss the tutorials. I do too, I'm not gonna lie. I miss sitting here and just talking about makeup because hey, girly girl, you know? I'm gonna use some little sticky tabs because I want my eyeshadow look to like be really clean and pristine, you know, like. <laughs> 
perfect. And I'm actually double filming, like I have my two cameras so I can get some content for TikTok. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep this look really, really simple. I'm not gonna go too hard on it. I just want it to be like really, really pretty and you know, autumn colors. So first I'm gonna go into Moonlight, which is this color right here. And with that, I'm going to just build that. Oh, it looks, wait, is it red? Okay, in the palette, it almost looks like a dark orange, but it's actually red. Now I'm guessing, should I go with this color? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so with this, I'm just gonna place this all over the eye and just cre create my shape. And I'm gonna keep it really nice and tight. I'm not gonna go too overboard with it because I love brow space. Like brow space to me in a makeup look is what softens the look, makes it a little bit more feminine, takes away from that drag look. If you do it all the way up, I feel like it gets a little cartoonish, you see what I'm saying? So you just want to keep it nice and tight and just create your shape. Okay, next up I'm going to go into Galaxy and Galaxy is just a true orange color. This one right here and I'm going to lightly buff that into the edge and likewise keeping it nice and tight. Okay, don't go overboard. You want it to look nice and soft and feminine, don't go overboard. I'm gonna use a little bit of the NYX glitter glue because we're gonna go in with some shimmers now. And I almost feel like I wanna do something crazy. There is this gray, I was not thinking about putting gray and red. Who puts gray and red together? But something says try that gray on top of that red. I don't know, let me think a little bit more. <laughs> I think I'm gonna just play it safe, okay? Because girl, is it gray though or is it like a green? It's like a dual chrome type of gray. What do you think? No, don't do it. It's gonna look Christmassy. We don't want that. Okay, so I'm gonna take Belluna, which is this color right here. And with that, we're going to put that right in the center there. It's like a subtle duochrome of bronze and like red and gold put together. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, so I had to go and get another palette still in Juvia's Place. This is the Chocolates palette. I want a little bit of brown on that outer area just to deepen it a little bit, just a little bit, okay? So we're gonna take this shade right here. We're just gonna buff that in there, just to warm it up a little bit. I'm gonna throw it on there like a cast. I'm not really trying to get a lot of color payoff with this. I just wanna take away from some of that red just to warm it up and make it a little bit more autumn like that, you know? Okay, I like how that looks. So we're just gonna take the tape off. How pretty is that? I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna take that same brown from the chocolate palette. And we're just gonna do the lower lash line. I like to do my lower lash line now. And it's a bit tricky, like a little controversial because a lot of people don't do their lower lash line right away. They do it after they do their face, especially if they're doing their eyes first. But as for me, I like to place it down because I do have that concealer there. And when I go in with my concealer, I like to just take my time and really blend it out. And if anything gets caught in it, I just go back in with the same brush, not applying any more color, just buff away any concealer, like just like erase it from the top and that color pops back out. That way I don't get any fallout because once you go back in with like more color, sometimes you can get fallout and <laughs> it's a pain, okay? Okay, that's it for the eyes for now. So what I'm gonna do is put on my lashes and let's move on to the face. Let's breeze through this face, okay? Okay, so that is it for the eyes. Let's zoom out, can we finish show out? <laughs> Oh, it is time for the face. I am going in with my vitamin, vitamin C serum. This is a Korean brand. This is called Nature Republic Vita Repair Dark Spot Serum. I'm trying this out. I used to use the, what you call it? What's the other one called? Oh, I cannot remember. Okay, but I'm trying this one out because I can get this one here. The other one I have to like order from online and stuff and it's just like, girl, okay. And it's really tacky and I like it underneath my makeup. So uh, yeah, I'm just trying to lighten these marks right here from my electrolysis treatment. So that's what I'm trying to do. Now I did have a sheet mask before this. So I just want to put something because I wiped up under my eyes as usual. So I like to reapply something. You get what I'm saying? And it's really tacky, it's really good. So um, I'm really not going anywhere today. I'm inside the house. So this is strictly for the tube and the gram. This is the Huda Beauty Mattifying Primer. And I'm just gonna put it in the T-zone areas. For my other primer, I'm going to be using the MAC Paint Pot for around my mouth and to defeat creasing. You guys already know the drill, okay? <laughs> 
Okay, so for the most part, I'm not really, I haven't really been doing my makeup much different. I haven't really changed anything. Everything is still quite the same, but I have changed just a few things. Like, I don't even know if you want to call it like anything big or anything like that, but I'm going to share with you anyway what I've been doing because I've been loving the outcome. So uh, yeah, I'm using the ABH golden powder. You guys already know. Okay, I still have that, still using that. And we're gonna pat and set the center of the face mostly where I get oily and that paint pot. You gotta try the paint pot guys, like I'm telling you, if you have creasing habits around the mouth, it really is, a, it, it's, it does the do, I promise you. Okay, so first I am going to go in with my bronzer or my contour shade and we're just gonna start to contour the perimeters of the face, basically. Okay, and I used to use this brush for under my eyes. I no longer use it for under my eyes. You're gonna see what I mean in a minute, okay? So I use this smaller brush to handle all of the bronzing, all of the contouring. I'm gonna do my chin today. And now it is time for the concealer. I'm just gonna place this in the center of the face, under the eyes, over the nose, above the lip, and in the center of the chin. And we're gonna leave it and let it set for a minute. And we're really gonna carve out the shape, okay, of what we're trying to highlight. We're gonna carve it out, okay? I'm gonna go all over my nose. I used to put foundation up here. I no longer do that. I'm just using this. So there's just a little bit, a little tweaking here and there. And for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever foundation, the HD foundation. And I'm actually gonna pump this in my hand. <laughs> okay, I've been doing it in my hand lately and I like it. <laughs> so we're just gonna place it where we need it. So this is what I have been doing differently. I've been using a powder brush. This is a powder brush, it's a lot bigger. This is the brush that I would normally use. I have been using this to pretty much do everything. So uh, yeah, it just, it gives a different finish, okay? And on top of that, I have been using the Milk Setting Spray and spritzing my brush to blend everything out, okay? And because it's such a big brush, like it just does something like, it's just a lot softer, it's really pretty. It's just really, really nice. I like what it does. It diffuses everything really, really quickly. I need to put a little bit more around my mouth, but for the most part, like it's just perfect. And as soon as I feel that brush getting dry, I spritz it again and go in and continue. Now, from here, I would normally switch my brush to do my concealer. I no longer do that, I use the same brush. I keep it right there. And it just really helps to soften up that concealer a little bit more so it's not so bright. And it just does a really great job. Even though the brush is big like this, like I just find that it works, like <laughs> it works. And you move a lot faster, like it just, it does the job. Like, and because that foundation is in there, it blends effortlessly. And like I said, as soon as you feel that brush getting dry, just spritz it and infuse that setting spray into the liquid, into the concealer, into the foundation. I feel beat down, but I feel light. And it's just doing everything for me, like so perfect. Okay, time to set. I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Powders Kunafa and Cinnamon Bun. Okay, so first we're gonna go in with Kunafa and Ooh. set under the eyes. I'm still gonna be using my sponge. And what I used to do would be to really tap off a lot of the powder. I no longer do that. I place the powder on, like really set it, you know, really, really set it. And then we're gonna pat, let the sponge do the work in picking up a lot of that excess powder. It's just gonna dissolve and it's gonna soften up and it's going to look Okay, sponge is kind of like picking back up and like absorbing some of that powder, like it's going back into the sponge. You know, think of like, you put a lot of powder on your brush and you tap it and the powder kind of falls in. I keep looking at the second camera like, hello, the, <laughs> the powder kind of falls into the brush. Think of it like that, okay? Like a lot of that powder is actually going down into the pores of the sponge, if that makes any sense. So you can distribute more and really get a really beautiful, flawless finish. Like, so just those little things I have been doing differently. But for the most part, it's mostly like the techniques, but like the makeup is still quite the same. Now I normally leave this part for last, but I'm gonna just show you like right now, cause I've got some powder, I've got some concealer caught in my lower lash line color. So with the brush, no more eyeshadow, okay? That eyeshadow is still underneath there. All right, so you just kind of want to do a light buff under that area and bring it back to life. Like you're just dusting away the top layer of that face powder and concealer. 
and it just brings it back to life. Like, you see the difference? And you don't mess up your makeup by adding more, you know, powder and having stuff fall. Like, at least that's how I do it. It works for me, you know? And now it is time for the face powder. I'm gonna go in with cinnamon bun. I'm gonna use the butt of the beauty blender. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Just pick it up, place it down, and really pat it out until the sponge just sucks it all up. You're gonna get a really nice, flawless, smooth look without the heavy cakiness, without it looking crazy, and without it feeling tight. Because you know sometimes when you put too much powder on top of liquid, it can feel tight, it can feel a little crusty like something, you know? So, and plus the sponge is damp, so it really helps. And as for my forehead, I always go light on my forehead. I don't really apply much color up there. Like I just use whatever is in the sponge because powder is in that sponge. You get what I'm saying? And it just mattifies it, sets it nicely without you doing too much, you know? Okay, so now I'm gonna focus on my nose because she needs a shape. So I'm gonna go in with the tan palette by Juvia's Place, still using this. Like it's gonna last forever because it's literally, this is all I use it for. <laughs> A hot mess, girl. This is all I use it for. I don't use it for nothing else, girl. <laughs> it's just the perfect nose contour. I also use my face powder sometimes, like when I'm just trying to cut down on using a lot of products, like using your face powder for your nose contour does a really great job as well. So for the dark one, I just swirl it around in both. Because we have that powder down already, I'm just gonna do lightly. You see, like I need just a little red tint. Like over here, just a, li a little bit more warmer compared to over here. You know what I forgot? liquid blush I think because I'm explaining stuff to you like I'm just out of my my rhythm but I would have put down some liquid blush okay <laughs> because I'm in love with liquid blush especially the ones by Juvia's place I need fall colors let's get a fall warm type blush okay for my blush I'm gonna be using volume one by Juvia's place when this just came out, this was my kick. But you see how it has the colors to tie in with the eyeshadow? So I'm gonna go in with the red shade first on this half of the brush, and then I'm gonna go in with the orange shade on the upper half. So I don't know if you can tell what I'm trying to create here. And we're gonna go in. Now, if I had put down a liquid blush, this would have popped even more. So right now it's gonna be really nice and soft and subtle, which is not bad. Okay, that's pretty soft and pretty. I'm gonna leave it. And to tie everything all in, what I'd like to do is just go back in with my sponge. No more product, because remember that sponge has powder in there, okay? <laughs> and we're just gonna pat out first the face side, and then we're gonna go in with the eye side. And you see what it does, like, compared to over here, it's a little bit patchy, whereas over here it's just soft and everything is well tied in. That's what you want. Okay, we're gonna handle that nose shine, that nose glow that I love, mostly just my nose, like it just livens up the face. Okay, for my tear duct color, let me get my setting spray because we're gonna use that as well. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Fall colors, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do, ooh, it's so difficult. Who do I wanna do? Do I wanna do you? Yeah, let's do you. So we're gonna go in with Mother Earth and Mother Earth is this shiny color right here. A little duochrome, a little goldish, a gilded gold. Like there's a little green hint in there. And if you're doing like a shiny inner color, like always spritz the brush. That way you don't have any fallout. You get what I'm saying? That's why I do that because I don't want to unfall on the face. I want the face to be flawless. Like you work so hard on it, you know? Let it stay flawless. <laughs> Okay, so for my lips, I am going to do a reddish nude lip. I'm sorry y'all if I keep looking like over. <laughs> Cause I'm double filming. Okay, so we are going to mix it up a little bit for the lips. What are we gonna do? Um, hold on, let me get something. Yeah, I am going, now why I don't look like this when I'm vlogging? Look a hot mess when I'm vlogging. When I tell you this camera and these lightings, lighting, lighting is important. Okay. It's because all of the light is controlled. <gasps> kind of cheapy cheapy earring them, they just drop hold saw. It's that stupid earring bag. I could feel that it was slack, but I ignored it, I ignored it. That's why you have to get like a bunch of earring bags from off of Amazon. I'll have it linked in my Amazon store. Like you need to have this. You need to have these in your collection, okay? Let's feel this. Oh yeah, nice and tight. Yes, that feels a lot better. Let me take this one off too. Where did I get these earrings? I think I got these off of ASOS. I'm pretty sure I did. I ordered them to go with a dress. Do you guys shop like that? Like if you have somewhere to go and you really don't feel, like you're not mentally prepared to sit there and shop <laughs> and get up. Oh, that's extra tight. 
oh and get like a bunch of stuff so you just get the outfit that you need you know and asos has like fast shipping so you know i order stuff and it gets here within four days fashion nova is like that as well love that okay four days in your hair like i can do that okay never delay so like what i was saying i was going to customize so first let's go with just a little bit of that. That is Africa by Juvia's Place. We're gonna customize. This is in Vogue. It's a nude. You see, already doing what I needed to do. Mm -hmm. Now I know I have that color somewhere. I just need to go look for it, but I'm not in the mood to go look for it. And I want a little orange. So this is the liquid lipstick. This is called Monarcha by Melt Cosmetics. And I don't think I'm gonna do a gloss because I like that. And it's autumn, you wanna go matte, you know? You wanna go matte. I need to walk around with this light in my vlogs. <laughs> Okay guys, so that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really like how it came out. Very simple, wearable, anybody can do it, okay? Um, yeah, I really, I, I, I like what happened here. Let me get the hell on out of here, okay? And I'm not gonna model this, like it's just time to go, okay? <laughs> if it is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe, join the tribe, come on in, we are a happy bunch. We like to keep it nice and clean and classy in here. Follow me on all of my social media platforms, TikTok, IG, everything is under my name. Comment down below because I wanna hear from you guys. Give the video a thumbs up because it helps me out. Share the video because sharing is caring and until the next video take care of yourselves and i will see you guys really really soon